Hi, welcome. This is the energy for today, April 29th. I hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. Spirit, what is the energy for today, April 29th? April 29th. What is the viewer you need to see in here for April 29th? Okay, so let's see. Uh, the fourth chakra. Um, this is about perhaps opening up your heart space. Uh, this could entail in some kind of a healing, uh, especially if you're um, feeling like broken hearted or um, almost that sense of being closed off. Okay. Um, this would give you the sense of having um, a new beginning. Okay. And then the door to spirit. So really using uh your connection with god or spirit whatever it is that you connect with uh this allows you to change um from maybe something like um you know something difficult maybe you're in a healing process maybe you need a lot of prayer um there's really that sense with the fourth chakra of clearing your energy so you can start flowing okay and then the happy happy family so this is about stability um and really having happiness too maybe mending a um a family coming together maybe this is your new time your your new um sense of direction that you're going towards towards happiness i feel and then um you have the yin and yang and this one did want to come out because it came out in the very first in the very beginning and i put it back but uh this is yin and yang so this is about having balanced okay um going through a lot of different situations but being able to balance them so if you're looking to be balanced in a situation whether it's family or within yourself so that you can heal something with the family or come together with the family um, like maybe even creating a sense of family for you um, you really do need to have some kind of time to sit open up your heart chakra and meditate and really connect to spirit okay and then the other one that came out is the thinking man. So this is really about discovery. Um, it's that sense of also planning and strategizing something. But you're really thinking carefully uh, about what step to take next. Uh, maybe you're learning new things as well. Okay. Uh, at the top of the deck, you have financial constraints. Um, so really, I do feel with the financial constraint at the top, um, really staying positive, working on, on a good mindset here with the um, fourth chakra. And then the attachment is at the bottom. Uh, and this is really about, um, you know, making sure you're not attached to toxic people, toxic situations, um, just wearing masks and maybe even the sense of um, just really uh, low low vibration is what I feel with this one. So really being aware of your surrounding, really. So take it as it resonates for you today. Welcome and thank you for being here. I always appreciate you guys being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, uh, leaving me your comments and all that good stuff, guys. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying healthy and happy within situations. Okay, so let's see what these mean for you guys, okay? Uh, especially if you're trying to heal from a broken heart with the attachment card on the top that we just saw uh, maybe it was just like a codependent relationship and it really broke your heart to maybe go on your no your own path but doing that is going to bring you to that happy okay so let's see what is the fourth chakra <clears throat> the fourth chakra is your heart chakra it involves a lot of healing um it's really that sense of um Allowing yourself to love again, maybe loving yourself, um, repairing, healing, um, that kind of thing. Okay, give me one more. I'm just curious here. So you got the Eight of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Nine of Nine of Cups. So either you're working to build a very successful building for or business for yourself. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of effort put into it. Um, Perhaps maybe this is uh, something with, if you're healing, you're becoming more like the Empress. You know, maybe you're having self-love for yourself. You could also be at this point where you're just really um, 
intuitive. Maybe you're going through an emotional time. Um, it could be something like that for you today, okay? I'm just trying to, there we go. Um, let's see. With the Empress, it's really maybe if you've been working for a long time, I do feel like there's that sense of abundance coming in for you. For some of you, maybe you've been working on um, maybe starting a family, you know, uh, maybe having trouble starting a family. But I do feel like there's success there with the Empress getting a wish come true, maybe being a mother, something like this. Okay, because this is a mother card and this is a mother card as well. So um, maybe this is a, a daughter and a mother, you know, healing something like this. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> um, Queen of Cups, please. What is the Queen of Cups? What is the Queen of Cups here? What is the Queen of Cups? Maybe it's self-love for yourself and you're becoming very abundant. Okay, uh, Queen of Cups. So the Justice card, Nine of Cups, please. The Nine of Cups. What is the Nine of Cups? Okay, so the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, learning how to be stable, learning how to balance uh, very much the sense of newness, okay? And the Empress, please, what is the Empress? What is the Empress? So you have the Victory, uh, the World card, and the Three of Wands. Moving forward, um, moving to success, something you've been waiting. Um, if it's a business, it's almost as if you've, wait, you've waited for the opportune moment to start the business, I do feel like there's that sense of victory. Uh, maybe this is you moving, moving locations. Uh, maybe if it is like moving a business location to something more successful, uh, whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest, I feel like it's coming in with the Three of Wands, okay? And what is the Eight of Pentacles? The Eight of Pentacles, please. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the lovers so are you choosing on that thing that you love maybe the business you want to you love um maybe this is a person we have two females here the queen of cups and the empress so are you choosing the one that you love with the queen of cups here the justice is really that sense of you know maybe this is um uh a situation that's ending whether it's a boyfriend girlfriend situation or a marriage that might be maybe ending um to bring in some kind of balance okay uh there's also the sense of um perhaps uh really holding on tight uh to a, an idea of something to start something um that brings some sort of stability okay especially if you're trying to learn a new skill um, it's really that sense of, of being able to have stability, long-term um, long health, long-term finance, uh, something like that, okay? Um, I want to know one more with the justice. What is the justice and the queen of cups? The justice and the queen of cups. Is this a new, um, a new time to love, either love yourself or love a new partner? Um, the justice, please. So the three of cups. Um, perhaps you're divorcing somebody to really be able to come together with the one that you you find some kind of victory or success with, with the Empress, okay? Um, there is really that sense of being celebrated um, as far as being free or taken out of something with the Queen of Cups, okay? Maybe you've lost hope and now things are starting to happen. Um, and it could definitely be because you've worked on something with either... Um, yourself, um, the way you think, um, maybe not holding yourself back. You've done a lot of work here, whether it's inner work or uh, an actual job or a career, something like this. I do feel like you're getting that wish fulfillment, okay? Um, maybe this is also intuition guiding you, you know, um, into that right situation, so, but I do feel with the lovers, this is that sense of choosing um, either somebody you love or, um, you know, going to that place you love, moving to that place you love, something like this, okay? You're choosing a peace and harmony, okay? Um, and it it's might, it, it uh, might have taken a long time, but I do see that there is some kind of work, some kind of energy flowing. Um, pretty positive cards. The only one that I would think is like, you know, if you're going through a divorce, maybe this is a divorce that is, um, 
you know, you both want it, you know, so there's no fighting, there's no quarreling. It's almost like you can just break in half and go your own ways and you guys are happy. If it is two people sort of breaking free um, from another, but then you're going to have, you're, you're going to have stability and something new come in in the form of love. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe it's a reunion also. Something that you've been waiting for to go forward in. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So what is the door to spirit? And this is a change because maybe you've done the, the chakra clearing and now you're starting to feel this pull to, to, um, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your God, um, spirit. Okay. Maybe your higher self as well. Door to spirit. So this is a change. This is what's allowing change also. Um, the five. Okay. So the nine of pentacles. So, um, in this new path, this new journey that you're headed towards, it's definitely, um, successful. Um, definitely, uh, that kind of feeling where everything is just coming in and falling into place for you. Uh, this is really a person who can get up and go at any time. Very successful, um, self-sufficient kind of energy and, uh, very, um, fertile in the sense that everything comes to them maybe very lucky okay this is what i feel so what is it what is the nine of pentacles it just could mean you're, it could mean that you're just having a breakthrough and just success okay let's see here <clears throat> nine of pentacles please nine of pentacles um also that sense of being free you know um just being free and happy so perhaps because you are happy and you got the four of wands um, clarifying the nine of pentacles, is this you just getting so balanced that you're attracting that perfect marriage, that per perfect uh, person, um, that commitment? Because uh, that's definitely what it looks like. Maybe a marriage. Maybe you're going to get proposed to. Uh, this could definitely be, um, with the Knight of, of Pentacles, an offer that's coming in for you. Whether it's business or love, you have to take it as it resonates. I do try to pick up on as much energy as I can. And I do know this is a, a, a general reading. So, I mean, you know that too. Um, so, let's see. Maybe you completed something also. Because the Four of Wands could be a completion, but... I feel you're headed towards something that's great, devotion, um, very stable long-term, okay? Um, maybe you're finding the one that you love, or you might be reuniting with the one that you love, okay? What is the Four of Wands? Four of Wands. Four. <clears throat> so you got the Four of Pentacles again. Um, really that sense of things will happen to you. <clears throat> for the better okay you got the ten of pentacles also and the page of wands so wherever you're headed towards that new journey it's going to be filled with your family uh with the comfort of having finances that are stable um really gain okay for some of you this could be an inheritance okay um which gives you that sense of starting over again, maybe starting that business or whatever it is that comes to mind. Maybe being an entrepreneur or a small business owner, something like that, okay, if it's business. Um, for family and love, it's just really success, really being able to grow. Uh, maybe a child, um, really a gain. You're gaining something. Are you gaining? Uh, for some of you, it's gaining like a, a stepchild or... Um, maybe stepchildren, more than one, they said. Um, you know, it's like a, a like a ready ready made family in a sense, okay, for some of you. Um, what is the happy family here? Happy family. What is the happy family here? Um, the moon. Um, you know, if you're having trouble conceiving, it's almost as if you might be worrying and thinking that you won't be able to have that that option. Um, but I do see it coming together, especially with the Empress, okay? Getting that wish and having some kind of victory. Um, because I do feel like this is you being around your family, whether it's new or if it's going to come in the future, okay? Um, what is the moon? 
what is the moon what is the moon with the happy okay um the knight of swords so something rushing in taking some kind of action i think you're following an intuition for some of you to rush into a family maybe a family you miss um, maybe rushing in to start that family okay meaning you've been waiting for a long time you meet the right person and you start having your kids um what else let's see the ace of swords so something has woke you up to let go of fear it's allowing you to charge forward with something take charge of something no longer paying attention to fear um i do feel like maybe perhaps uh, this is, you know, if you're worried you're not going to have it, I definitely do feel you are. Especially with the Three of Wands. Um, something you've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, maybe you just gave up hope, didn't think it was going to happen. Um, definitely could be a reunion. Maybe it's you or your person that needs to be single before you can reunite also. Okay. Uh, what is the yin and yang? Yin and yang, please. What is the yin and yang? What's the yin and yang? Uh, the yin and yang. So, okay. See, and this is great because you're standing up for your beliefs. You're standing up for you. Uh, you're fighting um, maybe opposing energy. I think that this is giving you some kind of strength and power. It's because you've healed your heart. Maybe a broken heart. Uh, maybe just your energy is just really flowing now. You've done a lot of inner work where you're able to release that sense of energy where either someone else controls you or this could be like somebody who's done a 180. They used to do what everybody else told them, but now they're fighting back for themselves. And that's a great passion. It's a, it's a new beginning. Um, it's because they've had their balance. So I do feel this is somebody who is um, maybe healing, um, standing up, uh, moving with that passion. Okay. So let's see here. Um, what is the seven of wands? Seven of wands, please. Seven of wands. So to conflict, you're standing up, maybe a competitor. You know, we saw the queen of cups and the empress. Is this a competition between two women? Is it the sense of having a conflict that you're healing with someone or you're mending? Okay. Um, definitely that sense of some kind of conflict, but it's changing. It's balancing out because you're standing up for it. You got the hangman. Uh, maybe you've been enlightened. Maybe you see the broader picture. Um, I do feel like that's what that is here. You've been enlightened. Um, maybe this is a temporary pause that you've had to take to really see the big picture. It could be a separation and you're coming together with your person. You got the nine of swords, the sun, and the queen of swords. So um, either, either there's been a lot of worry that either you or your person would not heal. Maybe even the sense of a worry that you wouldn't communicate or see something clearly. Um, I do feel like this is that sense of following the intuition, um, getting the right messages, meaning um, learning how to maybe listen to yourself or to another. There's that sense of victory and success, a uh, growth, okay? Um, and maybe you, for a while here with the Nine of Swords, you were very... Uh, you know, had sleeplessness, just very stressed out, anxious. Um, this could be that sense of just anxiousness to maybe how you can convey uh, a message to someone or when is it going to come in. Um, definitely, too, if there's been two different people that you've been going back and forth with, um, there's really that sense of needing to stand up and, and take take your, your voice, okay? Um take your voice and use it okay so let me see i want to know <clears throat> what is the nine of swords nine of swords so the two of pentacles um maybe it's taking a long time for you to get clarity to know which way you want to go or to which person you want to be with okay maybe you had to let go of one that's difficult and has a lot of conflict um also cause a lot of fear in you okay um what is the queen of swords Queen of Swords, some kind of truth, um, some kind of clarity. Um, very abrasive too, though. Um, this definitely could be a couple, and, and I felt it earlier, it could be a couple that is finally ready to part ways uh, without maybe having a conflict. Maybe it's something that you see eye to eye. You see the, the, the um, 
high priestess and the ten of swords so this queen of swords could have kept secrets from you they could have kept you blocked they could have been the person that is your competition they also could have been the person that just caused a lot of riffraff in your life the sense of fear uh the sense of hopelessness with the nine of swords okay um, I do feel like that could be ending with the Ten of Swords. Some kind of secret and some kind of clarity came out for the situation so that you can move out of this situation here. So that's really not a bad thing. I do feel this is something that um, it did need like a break. Maybe this is a break that you had to go through with someone um, in order for them to see and get their head straight. It could be vice versa. Okay. Um, at the bottom of the deck is the Emperor. So taking charge. Uh, you got the Empress over here as well. So let's see what's at the top of the deck. The Magician. A new beginning. The sense of manifestation. Learning your power. Learning that you can heal. And really use that love to somehow make new things for you. Attract new things. Positive things. Healthy things. Okay. So maybe this is something you've learned. Um, I want to know how does the story end for today please. So... You got the three of pentacles with the queen of queen of wands. I'm sorry, queen of pentacles. So you've worked on your foundation. I think that you had to separate yourself from difficult situations, competitive people, maybe people that cause a lot of conflict within yourself. Um, I think that this is that kind of grounding energy and you've had some kind of success, which sets you up for having that victory. Um, also, they're saying again, maybe having success and being able to conceive or have a child. Um, that's really that sense of happiness also. Okay. Um, let's see here. Also, the moon. Listening to your intuition. That's what's guided you to some kind of um, stability. Okay. Um, allowing change. Maybe you were just very frigid in the sense of not being able to move because of the fear and the stagnant kind of energy. Um, it could have taken you a long time to speak up for yourself, okay? Uh, what else, please? What else? Because you're paying attention, okay, with the moon and the lovers. I think you're choosing um, who to build that strong energy with. Um, it could be the person that either holds love for you or has helped you to love yourself, okay? Uh, I think that you know which one to pick, okay? This is that sense of choosing, uh, between the person that's going to give you unconditional love or someone who doesn't work with you, okay? Because now that I see that that card came out, the Queen of Cups and the Lovers, you're allowing change, you're allowing love to come in, but perhaps with the Three of Pentacles, it is about a team, you know, working together. But if you're focused too much on the other people, you lose sense of your foundation. So maybe this person just gave you a wrong foundation, okay? Take it as it resonates. I do feel there's a love offer coming here with the Knight of Cups at the bottom and the Three of Swords. So maybe this is a third party situation, ending that broken heart, um, ending that separation. The the hangman could be a temporary setback sense of, uh, you know, uh, a separation, a temporary separation. So take it as it resonates today, guys. Let's see here. I want to know, what is this karmic uh, situation here? What's the karmic cycle? How will it end, please? How will it end the karmic cycle? What's the karmic cycle? Okay, so let's see right here. Uh, it says sunglasses. So this is about watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So that could be a definite um, kind of karmic cycle. Okay, the golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. It says it all. And it is a twin flame journey, definitely. Okay, we saw the lovers twice, guys. Um, you got wedding rings. So maybe this is a union coming together, uh, a, a twin flame union. It says wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Maybe your twin made you a promise to come back together. Uh, the phoenix, so a new face, rekindling. A new transformation, a changed mind, um, and they're growing. And so then the Grim Reaper, their relationship is over. No second chances. Um, so I do feel like this is transforming. You're, shift, you're shifting from one 
partner to the other. Um, and you're picking conditional love, really, which is not bad. No, unconditional love. I, I said conditional. You're picking unconditional love versus conditional love, okay? That's a big um, kind of thing to sort of overcome, okay? Took a long time to change, I feel. Uh, what is the insight for today? What's the insight for today? This one here. Uh, so let's see. It says here, observe your thoughts. Watch your thoughts pass through your mind. Do not judge them or make comments. Just watch as they pass through. Um, true insight comes from this place of non-judgment. -jud non okay, so don't judge you and judge others also. Uh, what is the angel message? Okay, so it says opal. Your children on earth and heaven are happy and will be cared for by God and the angels. Okay. Um, I do feel children are coming into your life. I definitely do. Okay. Maybe some of you have lost children before and you're healing from that and you're going to the next one. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, not to sound cold or anything, but maybe this is your second chance to have a child, you know? You might have lost one is what I'm trying to say in a nice way, okay? Um, so then this one right here, the Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. And so maybe this twin really needs to forgive themselves. They might need to forgive others. They might need to forgive themselves or you, okay? So take it as it resonates, guys. Um, I want to know, uh, okay, how funny because this one just sort of stuck to it and I don't know why, but maybe it fell out and I didn't see it. It says, trust your inner knowing, only you know what's right for you. If you listen to your own voice, you will know what path to take and what choice to make. Okay, that is so true. Okay, and let's see, what is the mermaid message here? The mermaid message. Okay, so blessings. You're definitely setting yourself self up for blessing. Um, it's divine timing is what it feels like, really. Divine timing, uh, something that you've been waiting for a long time, something that you haven't lost hope for. I do feel you're being blessed because of that, okay? So let's see here. Um, what is the affirmation for today? What's the affirmation? Okay, so let's see. Uh, this one right here, it says, I am calm, relaxed, and balanced with the wind in my back and the sun shining on my face. I have immense power to overcome all challenges ahead. And it's funny because whenever I pick up this deck, it's usually this card or another card that comes out. It's really funny. I, I just, it's amazing. Okay. So, um, let's see. Let's do this one right here. Uh, what is the unicorn message for today, please? The unicorn message for today. Okay, so we see here. Uh, change. The changes that you're going through are positive. So that's awesome. And then healer. You have the power to he help heal. You have the power to help and heal others. So maybe you're a healer. And you're discovering that about yourself, okay? Which is great. All right. Uh, and let's see here. What are the words of love for today? Words of love. The words of love, please. Words of love. Okay. So, it says, self-love. You realize that the love of self is necessary to love another. And I do feel like this is what's happened with your twin flame. Either you or your twin you have to have that self-love and forgiveness to move forward. And it might have been hard for you to end cycles with the karmic, um, you know, and maybe you held on to that for a long time. Uh, let's see here. Let's close it off with the soul message. What is the soul message for this reading, please? The soul message. What is the soul message here? Okay, so this one here. Okay, um, you have two. They both flipped over. So am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? You are the asset 
This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling. How much you sleep are you getting and what you can do to help your body rest. Today's action is take a bath and put some lavender oil. Go go to go to bed ridiculously early and give yourself a time out today. Notice that your body will thank you. So today's mantra, the more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. Yeah, don't wear yourself ragged, you know. So the second one is, am I on the right path? Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path at all. Know this, you're on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you are a soul. You're on a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. So today's action, search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. I feel for some of you, you're finding your soul purpose, okay? Um, that's definitely with the kind of energy I felt with the fourth chakra. So you're you're allowing this to happen. That's why there's so many changes happening. And they could be happening rapidly, guys, okay? So there you go. I do hope you like this reading. I hope it helps someone. Thank you so much for joining me. I always appreciate you guys. Have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. I'll see you tomorrow.